Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Let's Try! This week's episode was drawn by me, Ikebo. Uh, this is a Draw It Again meme. And this is a character I've actually redrawn before, but the first time I've ever drawn the character was in 2013. So I was thinking, why not just show the progress from 2013 to 2017 and all of the changes that happened to this character. Almost 360. Yeah, almost 360. You can call them different characters now if you want to. Maybe like siblings, they're not the same character. Pretty much the character went from being like one of those funky kind of scene type guys and to an emo. That, like, yeah, that, that's what he is now. He's an emo. And, um, and because a lot of my characters are based off of stereotypes, he went from being like that spunky scene kid to being like the emo, and since he's the emo, he got this kind of look to him where he's like skinnier and he's paler and he has much more darker parts around his eyes and the part with his uh, hair where it fades to pink is now shown in one of those ways that you see some people with like that type of hair and they have the ends or somewhere dyed in this like bright color and it was made to be shown like that even though his hair naturally grows in that way. His name is yeah his name is Anti. He is the anti cupid his nickname is Anti, he is the anti cupid but his actual name is Marcotos. And his brother's name is Marcotos so he's Cupid. <laughs> yep. And uh these characters do have the the names are funny reasons for being yeah, that way. They do. We're not gonna... Oh, we're not gonna tell him? No. It's okay. a secret. Yeah, it's a secret for now. But I actually was really happy with this picture. I'm like, wow, and his hair just made me so happy. It's really, really I shiny. like his skin. His skin, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's really nice. It's all about coming through. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Or I like that part. You're just like No singing. Okay. One thing I do have to admit, though, is that I am... <laughs> Like, what are those people that have, like, so many genres? But, like, I seriously love Fallen Universe for some reason. Like, their music. I just love it. Oh, quick update. Since, um, uh, her voice is kind of normal now. Yeah, it's normal we can, again. Um, record again. Yay. Yay! So, nice. we'll get started, uh, as soon as possible. And we're halfway done with an episode, which is basically most of it's gonna get cut off. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we have a funny joke in mind, so, uh,. Yeah, but it's gonna take a lot no, of editing it's not to do. All cut off. It's just no, a cut lot of and it. moved. A lot of it is cut, but it, it, there's a funny joke that's gonna pop up, so I think it's worth it. Yeah, and there's gonna be a lot of editing. Yay. Whew, so much editing. He's getting so much better at editing. Yeah. Oh, um, we tried to brand new mic setup today. The yeah. mic is in between us instead of being up hovering above us. It's right in between us today. Hopefully there's no pop, 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 pop this. There shouldn't be pops. Like, we're not talking directly at the microphone, and usually you get pops if you're looking directly at it. You should talk more about Anti, like, what is he like? How's he act? How's that? Oh, Anti is kind of this, like, love struck puppy kind of guy. He has this kind of sad background story. It's not really. I mean, it's sort of sad. You, would you call it Seth? It's kind of like one of those things, like, aww, story. Yeah. He was like a young kid, and like, there's like- Wait, you're actually telling the background story? A real quick version. He was a young kid, he fell in love with this one girl, and it was like, really cute, and then, so like, because since the- he's really old, and so is the girl he likes, they're both really old now. Yeah. Like, they're, like, they, like, they have weird life cycles, so they're both like, close to a thousand years old. But like, way back when, in like, those days, you know, whenever girls used to get married at like 12 and stuff, yeah, so since he liked her so much, and like they were like around that 13-ish age, he's just like, I'm gonna ask this girl to marry me. So he did, and she was just like, no, and said no to him. Because like, she was freaked out, she's like, I don't want to get married and stuff, and she was like, no. She said no to him, and him being the anti cupid and all, he did not do this on purpose. He was just really, he was really sad about it and stuff, so like, he kind of accidentally cursed her. He didn't mean to, but he did it by accident. But since he was so young, he didn't know how to reverse it either, and... The girl's family hated him, and it was just really bad and everything, and she's like, oh my goodness, what did you do to me? And then, uh, the, the family, the girl's family was so mad, they basically did their version of a curse, and they sealed him away, like, summoner-style sealed him away, um, where he could never harm anybody again, and the family just has to kind of deal, unfortunately, with the girl 
and the curse that she has. The curse she has is, of course, love-related, which means she cannot feel anything similar to love or anything like that until their relationship problems get solved, which, unfortunately, they can't be solved <laughs> because he was sealed away, so that's kind of messed up. Now, that's his background story, and oh my goodness, I took so long explaining. We are now at the end of this episode of Let's Draw! <laughs> Oh, wow. <clears throat> um, thank you for watching this week's episode of Let's Draw! Please remember to like and subscribe or else I'll make the anti-cupid curse you! Oh, it's not good. Everyone's love. Trying to consume the drug in me is you. I'm so high up misery. Can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see? This is not about you! But I'm headbanging like it is. Yeah! <laughs>